wanted to show you a little bit more anatomy using this particular stem. If we look really carefully, can you kind of see this on your screen? We have these parts along this older part of the stem. Notice we've got these sort of these sort of uh, interesting shaped things. And if you look down the stem, they're all throughout the stem. And we also have a couple of parts along the stem, like right here, where there is a really heavy amount of sort of scarring and sort of a ring around the stem. Oh, and it looks like there's another one down here, maybe more apparent. Uh, this ring all the way around the stem is sort of a scar. So all of these are actually scars. All of these things along this older part of the stem. Remember, the younger part is at the tip. This must be the very oldest part of the stem, the part that my dog has already started chewing. The, the largest scars right here, uh, this is where a leaf used to be attached, and that's why we call this a leaf scar. And we're going to show you more pictures. I know this video isn't that great to, to show you the details of that. Right above the leaf scar, we should expect to find something. Just like we found an axillary bud uh, up at the, above the leaf, up here on the live uh, leaves, on this leaf scar, we should expect to see a bud. There it is. Or maybe the bud has sort of fallen off. And uh, like this, uh, for, the, for example, this leaf scar has a uh, axillary bud scar right there. Well, each one of these leaf scars will have an axillary bud scar directly above it. Uh, or the actual axillary bud, if it's still attached. Great. Now those really good, those heavier scarring, those heavier parts of the stem are the, they represent a year's worth of growth. If you look at the space in between those scarring, those sort of rings of scars, these are called bud scale scars. Um, and that's because the, the, the axillary, or sorry, the apical bud, excuse me, the tip, the terminal apical bud up here, has a bud. The bud has these small scales all over it. Um, they're sort of protecting the young growth. Um, and it's those scales that are left behind when next year's growth starts growing. And they leave the scar uh, that sort of looks like a ring around the entire stem. So there's one right here. There's one cluster right here. There's one right here. And that means that we had a year's worth of growth in between those two spaces here. And if we count all of them, it looks like there's a pretty stark difference between the green stem and the brown stem. So that represents this year's growth, growth uh, year zero, you might call it. And then I can kind of age this stem that way. Oh, one year, two years, because of those um, scars, three years. Okay, so, so this is at least three, maybe four years old, this stem, cool, neat.